Good morning. My name is Susan Santoro and I'm here today to talk to you about the procurement process for public works construction. You may be asking yourself, what in the heck is she talking about? Well, when you're driving down the road and you see a lot of orange cones and signs, cars are starting to back up, there's work going on everywhere, it's a big mess, you may be asking yourself, what the heck's going on? How long is this going to take? How did this start? Well, I can't tell you how long it's going to take, but I can tell you how it started. I work for the City of Costa Mesa in the Construction Management Division, and we're responsible for procurement of all public works construction projects contractors. When the City of Costa Mesa budgets for construction projects annually, they allocate a certain amount of taxpayer funds to perform construction works projects. Those projects are programmed and then they are sent down to Construction Management Division for procurement of contractors to perform the work. Um, part of that process involves three important components that I want to talk to you about today. And those components are first, the statutory requirements, second is the solicitation process, and the third part is the bid review and contractor selection. First, I'm going to go over the statutory requirements. Those are legal requirements that the city is required to follow whenever they're uh, involved in a public works project. In particular, we follow the California Public Contract Code, which gives a lot of legal requirements that must be incorporated into our contract documents whenever we're working on a public works project. Some of those requirements involve uh, the, the contract documents themselves, what requirements must be incorporated into them, how we conduct the bidding process and how we determine who the low apparent bidder may be. We're also obliged to follow the contract management policies and procedures. That's an internal document that's prepared by the City of Costa Mesa to guide staff through the procurement and construction process. It involves some things such as how to advertise projects, how to communicate with contractors, how to document your project file, um, and how to determine who the low apparent bidder is. We're also required to follow the City of Costa Mesa purchasing procedures. That's issued by our finance department. That includes requirements that involve the selection of the proper type of contract to use on each public works project. It also involves the selection of a bid advertisement duration. We have a minimum uh, duration of 30 days that a project must be advertised in the City of Costa Mesa. So those are some of the statutory requirements we're required to follow. The second item is the solicitation process. That is the process that we follow to get the bids to be submitted to the City for the project. The first step that we do is we advertise the project. We prepare an advertisement and we put it into local newspapers and we also advertise it in construction trade journals. These are uh, uh, specialized trade journals that are unique to construction for public works projects and uh, they're used by uh, contractors to find out where projects are bidding and how to get the information on those projects. So when contractors find out about the project, they come in, they pick up the technical plans and specifications for the project, which include documents that tell them how to prepare a bid. And we often get calls from these contractors that uh, include questions to us in terms of how to prepare their bid. Uh, we also get technical questions about the construction itself that we have to uh, provide answers and uh, we are available to contractors for all types of questions during this solicitation process. Ultimately, we have established a due date of when the bids are due, and all, the contractors are aware that they must submit their bids prior to that bid due date. Uh, once that bid due date comes, all the contractors submit their bids, they're in sealed envelopes, and our contract administrator our contract administrator gathers those bids and then 